is just a quick video talking about exactly how this is set up. I did build this uh, the other night on a Patreon live stream. It took about three hours and I was planning on basically making an edit of the uh, builder's live stream and making it public, but it's just such a massive file. So if you're interested in seeing the building and the figuring out, because I literally just didn't know what I was doing, I started and I finished this in about three hours and yeah, there was there's a fair few mistakes, like the glue I used, as you can see, it's all gone a bit funky because I used the wrong glue. Basically what's inside here is this is the controller circuit board. And all, all I did was basically, if you look here, these pins coming from the chip inside the controller, which is a shift register chip. Uh, it's got eight pins here, and these designate to the buttons. You can see this is the A switch, the B switch. This uh, diagram is from allaboutcircuits.com. And um, yeah, it's got loads of button pushes. And basically what I did was I, I wired a transistor onto every kind of wire on the pin to kind of pretend to be a button push so if you look at it here this is the 2N3904 transistor that I used here is the actual uh, pin out so pin 1 which is the emitter that is connected to ground pin 1 uh, pin 2 which is the base that is connected to the trigger input this is the jack input this is straight wired straight to that and then there's also uh, with a 10k and then a diode as well which stops the negative voltages from screwing with it and then you could skip this to be honest you could just get away probably with the transistor and then the collector is soldered straight to the pin on the shift register inside the controller. I'll just open this box and just show you what is inside, but this is just just quickly, hopefully to add and happy, hopefully to answer a couple of questions if you are interested in building something like making a NES or something talk to a modular synth. It is very similar to the process that I did with the drum machine in the Coleco Vision, as well as the speak and spell. The speak and spell uh, button matrix, I basically used resist uh, relays and you can see that in other videos on this site as well. But we'll just open this up and I'll just show you basically what is on the inside. Three. So if you can see there's a wire going through. This is coming from the back of the controller and inside the controller there is actually a chip. And what I did was I soldered straight onto the chip the wires that designate to that. And this is designating to the, uh, the picture here. And then they go over to this connector and then there's a strip board layout basically of those that transistor circuit that I drew and showed you. There's a transistor, there's a diode for each of the buttons and there's a 10K protection resistor. And then these are literally wired straight to the jack socket inputs. There is also some signal LEDs on the jack socket inputs. What you do is you wire a 1K resistor to the positive terminal of the LED. And then you wire the ground of the LED, the short leg, to uh, you know ground and that means you're able to send a little bit of juice over to the LED to light it up to show you whenever it's being plugged whenever there's voltage going in and then the rest of the electricity goes up through this wire and into this circuit which makes the actual button pushing on the NES. <laughs> So hopefully this little video sort of cleared up a little bit of your questions. Also, I would recommend just typing in on Google, if you're looking at this, um, interfacing with uh, NES controller, because there are a lot of projects interfacing NES controllers with things like Arduinos, things like that, to actually get them to play the game. And you can actually program, I think there's probably a code about, I wouldn't be surprised if there is a code about literally just plugging the controller and playing the uh, playing Super Mario uh, is like programmed to play it maybe. I don't really know. But anyway, um, that is very, very quick little brief video. But I hope you're having a lovely day. And if you're interested in building this, uh, don't forget to uh, build it. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments and I will try and answer them. And if I don't, then hopefully somebody might be able to. Anyway, peace. Woo.